Hey guys, what's up? My name is Fern and I'm going to be giving you an updated tour of my houseplants. So I have about a hundred of them and I live in the Pacific Northwest. So it is currently our rainy, cloudy winter. Um, so needless to say, some of my plants are not doing too hot, but I wanted to show you kind of my setup for the winter and yeah, just give you an update on all of my plants. Okay, so I am going to be starting in my living room. This is a north facing window here. So I have my string of hearts here. I just recently moved her here. I've kind of been having fun rotating my plants around and rearranging them. Um, I used to have a long pothos hanging here, but honestly nobody could even use this chair because it was all the way down here. So I have moved this girl here temporarily and um, yeah, we'll see how she does. She's so tangled and I don't even know how to go about that. So I've just left it for now. Um, Okay, so along the windowsill, random succulent. This is my green flame fern. I've repotted it into a bigger pot and this guy dries out so fast. So I ended up putting some um, sphagnum moss in there to see if that helps retain some of the moisture. Um, and she seems to be liking it. I like go between he and she for my plants. So <laughs> just don't mind me. Um, this is my variegated jade doing well, uh, regular jade, this is a bromeliad flaming sword, uh, a piece of moonshine snake plant that I propagated, my African violet with a few blooms, um, my dragon tree dracaena. And this is a newish one. This is my narrow leaf philodendron. I just think they're so cool. Like, what a unique plant. The leaves are so beautiful. And then I have um, a Milky Way cast iron plant here. I need to repot it. It's still in its little nursery pot. Um, this is one of the plants that I got when I was in. Actually, my boyfriend got this one. This one is his. Um, we picked it when, picked it up when we were in Seattle. On the coffee table is just our snake plant, which really badly needs to be repotted. I love this pot though, so it sucks that I have to take it out, but it's like trying to shoot up babies and it can't because the pot's so small. Over here, I have um, my Regal Shield Alocasia and a uh, Domino Peace Lily here, which I really love. And Recently, I mounted this staghorn fern up here, so I'm pretty proud of myself. Um, yeah, we'll see how it does. I'll probably move it to a brighter spot in the summertime, but right now I just have a grow light here for these three guys. And then going back into the dining room, this is my giant um, Marble Queen Pothos. Her name is Greta. Um, yeah, I love her so much. I've had her for years. So I've kind of made her vine up and around the doorway and yeah, she'll grow down there. Um, yeah, love her. And then beside her is just a ginseng plant, I believe. Over here, this is a west facing window. So it does get some decent light. It's just that our days are so short still, so it's not great. I did have a light clamped up there for a while. I just recently took it down though. Um, so right here on the floor, I have my camouflage Diefenbachia. I'm not 100% sure if that's what it is. Um, you guys can tell me what you think, but yeah, I'm not really sure what else it could be. So let me know. I have my aloe vera that I've had for years sitting here. Um, this is my Diefenbachia reflector. Um, this one I also got from Seattle. It is a red imperial philodendron. I have my fiddle, one of my fiddle leaf figs. Um, this one isn't doing too hot to be completely honest, but it is putting out, well, I don't even know if that leaf is gonna make it. It doesn't look too great. Um, we shall see how this guy does. Um, I have another string of hearts just chilling here in a simple little macrame hanger that I made that takes literally like five minutes. There is a glass hanging thing there that we want to put an air plant in. This is our bird of paradise. It's kind of leaning outwards. Um, 
because it was flipped the other way so now I'm waiting for it to go back towards the light. And then I have my variegated umbrella plant and a, oh my gosh, I'm doing the thing again and a neon pothos which has grown a lot since i got it as well it used to be in my shower but now i've moved it back out here and then turning around i have my plant shelf over here with um two grow lights there so on the floor is my stingray alocasia which had thrips for honestly like two months um, so it was isolated in the spare room, but now it's out here. I have not seen any thrips on it, so I'm super happy that it survived. I just have a little pothos cutting on this little wicker thing. Um, okay, so up at the top I have a skindapsis, which has grown a ton for me as well. I love it so much. I have another string of hearts on this side. I love string of hearts, you guys. <laughs> I want more of them. Um... In the back is my Thai Constellation Monstera, which honestly has not done really well this summer, or this summer, oh my gosh, this winter. Um, it lost two leaves, I think. It did put out one leaf. This one is the newest leaf. Um, this one doesn't look great though. It's like yellow on the tip. Um, I did recently repot it. I took it out of its little pot and it was so root bound. So hopefully it's gonna start doing better again um, now that it is in a larger pot. I have a variegated Hoya Caria in the back. I have a Pylea. Um, I have a coffee plant which was in the window and dying. So I have just recently moved it to be under the grow lights and we'll see if we can save it. I have my Hindu rope on this side. I have a pitcher plant here. Um, one of its pitchers are rotting off. So it's only gonna have one left. Yeah, not too sure how to care for this plant properly. That's why it's not like doing amazing. This guy here is my sad story. So I got this plant from Seattle. Uh, I paid about $100 for it if you've seen my Seattle plant haul and you know how dramatic it was to take them over the border and whatnot. Anyways, um, the roots were completely rotted. I'm not sure if that was my fault or it was probably my fault, honestly. Um, so anyway, so the roots were completely rotted. I have had to cut off like this whole plant. It used to be huge. So I have about four or five little things propagating now to save it. Not to save it, but so that I can repot it. And I don't know if these, if what's left of it is going to make it. I feel like probably not, but I've just like left it there to see. So yeah, I'll keep you guys updated on that. Super sad, but um, it grows super fast. So once I pot up all the cuttings, it'll be fine. I have... I have my other variegated Hoya Caria here with a little baby leaf coming in. It's so cute. This is my silvery and skindapsis. The leaves are so big and so much more silver than my other varieties, so I really love that. And then over here I have my baby, my Anthurium clarinervium. It's actually doing well. I've just recently repotted it. I know it's controversial whether you should pot anthuriums in terracotta but i went for it because i love terracotta so i'm gonna see how it does it did put out a new leaf for me i'm not sure which one it even was anymore it was big though maybe it was this one holy crap that'd be crazy i think this might be it wow anyways this plant is incredible i love it so much um watermelon peperomia which was huge but i just had to cut off like half of it because it was drooping down really badly uh, Shane's dying bonsai. I have my Alocasia poly or Amazonia. I'm not really sure. Um, I think maybe it can go by either name. I'm really surprised this has survived this far into the winter, to be honest with you. And then down here I have my rabbit foot fern, which is so cool. My humidifier, which I need to fill. And down here, this is, I think this is, no, I have one more, I think. Um, I don't really have that many calatheas anymore, but this one I just love so much. It's a medallion calathea and the leaves are so huge and beautiful. And this plant has honestly been so easy. It's caused me no trouble at all. It hardly requires any light. And yeah, it's just like pushing out new leaves like crazy. It's amazing. So yeah, I love that guy. Over here with another grow light, I have our giant spider plant. 
Um, I have my Monstera Adansonii wide form here on a little plant stand. This was in our bedroom for a while, but I don't think it was getting enough light. Um, and it was there before, but the heater was like crisping up all the bottom leaves because there's a heater right down there. So I've moved it here and it seems pretty happy. And then I have Mavis, my Monstera right beside. Those three look pretty cute together. Oh yeah, I totally forgot about this. Oh my gosh, this is a cutting of a philodendron micans. Oh my gosh, I won't focus. It's like tiny anyways, you can't really tell. Um, so I have been looking for one of these honestly for so long and I, I kid you not, uh, like earlier in the week, I almost ordered a cutting off of Etsy for $42 for one. And then I went over to my friend's house the other day and I saw that she had one and I was like, holy crap, can I please have like a tiny cutting? And of course she gave it to me. So I'm so excited. I can't wait for it to root. Oh my gosh. I've been like checking it every day and it's only been three days. <laughs> so this is an overview of the dining room, probably the plantiest room in the house, I would say so cute and it just looks so pretty when the sun comes in all the plants are so happy okay so now we are in the kitchen there's a little overview most of the plants are in the window area so this is a west facing window side and this is south facing except there is a little overhanging thing so it doesn't get like super direct sunlight i like how you can see through here to all the other plants it's pretty cool Anyways, okay, so I have my Moonshine Sansevieria here. These are some of my Raphidophora cuttings. There's a couple of them here. My Hartley Philodendron, which I love so much. This is a, what is this called again? It's like a luck plant, good luck plant. Um, I'm not really sure. I feel like maybe it's a type of bamboo. Is that correct? I remember Googling it. Um... My roommate gave it to me, which was so sweet, but I totally forget what it's called. Anyways, it's been super easy plant for me. Um, it seems to like being pretty, it seems to like being pretty moist. This is a lipstick plant, which I honestly don't really like. It's like so scraggly and I keep waiting for it to like grow and look better and it just looks scraggly. So I don't know. Okay, so this Hoya here, this is one of my favorite ones. It's a Hoya macrophylla, and it's totally like started vining around my Raphidophora cuttings, which is kind of funny. But look how cute. It's got a little baby leaf in. It's so pink. I love it so much. And then my baby variegated uh, Hindu rope here. I have Pothos cuttings just chilling on the counter. More Pothos cuttings. More pothos cuttings. Um, ooh, these ones probably need to be watered, actually. Take that down. Actually, maybe not. I'll have to check. I have my croton here. A jade plant. Another succulent. Kind of looks like it's dying under there. I kind of neglect these ones, to be completely honest. Here is my fiddle leaf fig which i love so much he's honestly like never really thriving but never really dying either so i guess i'll take that these leaves are so nice though these are probably his newest ones here behind him i have a dead uh spider plant i have two bromeliads i, I don't even know if these are bromeliads actually i think they are though I have my Monstera, which now is getting split leaves, which is so exciting. Oh my gosh, so cute. I have some cuttings that I took. There's regular green Hartley Philodendron and some Skindapsis in here. And this is my um, uh, Syngonium Albo. It is so beautiful. This is one of my favorite plants. I love it so, so much. It's so pretty. Oh, that leaf is so stunning. Holy crap. And this is one of the babies from my Pilea. So here is my ZZ plant, which has suddenly started doing so well. It's crazy how many new shoots it has been putting off. So this, this is new. This is new. This is a new one coming out. This one is new. And I think that's it. 
but yeah so much new growth oh this one too it's crazy oh my gosh it's getting so big i'm so proud my rubber tree beside it which needs a dusting this honestly never really does anything for me it doesn't really grow or die and i know they're supposed to be so easy so i don't know what i'm doing wrong maybe dusting it would help yikes i have a gosh what is this called i don't remember some sort of cacti succulent thing my hoya crimson queen which i love so much it's so pretty a regular um Oh my gosh, what's the word? Syngonium, which has grown so much. It's crazy. Like, look how huge this thing is now. Wow. A pothos, oh gosh, I forget what kind. Pearls and Jade, I think. What's the difference between Pearls and Jade and Enjoy? Can anybody tell me? Because I would love to know. Doesn't want to focus on the leaves, but you can see what they look like. Um, my kangaroo fern is now here. And then way down here, I have a little spider plant baby. I think that's it for the kitchen. Oh yeah, I have another little pothos cutting way up there. Okay, so heading into the bathroom. Um, this is normally hanging here. I just move it when I need to shower. So this is my philodendron silver stripe. So pretty, I can't wait until it grows and starts trailing. The leaves are just like so elongated. And delicate looking and then in my shower I have a string of dolphins which I completely saved I bought this and it was a big plant not big but definitely bigger than this it was completely rotted um, <clears throat> I was going to throw it away and I decided to try to propagate a few of the pieces and it worked and it's putting out new growth now and I honestly can't believe it um, I have an angel wing begonia there, which I had almost thrown away, but I decided to just chuck it in here because I thought maybe it would like the humidity, and it seems to be doing better, so yeah, I'm just letting it do its weird thing. It's like lost so many leaves and then there's just a bunch on the end, it's kind of funny. And then another spider plant there, and I moved my Maranta into the bathroom. Um, it's really low light in here, but I think think it'll do okay so far it's doing great i love this plant so much and it fits so perfect behind the toilet there so yeah and it will love the humidity in here so so far so good and then the last room is our bedroom maybe i'll turn the light on there we go okay so i know it's like so messy in some parts of this room let's just ignore that okay so over here i have my golden pothos in the macrame hanger that i made i need to make more of these um I just recently moved it in here. I think it looks really nice. We just hung our instruments. So yeah, this is really cute. Um, but this plant has grown so much. It's absolutely crazy. Like it's so long now. I think it'll be happy. This is an east facing window. I have my black ZZ in here, which has done absolutely nothing for me. It's just chilling. So hopefully in the spring or summer or fall, it'll put out new growth. But for now it's alive. So it's really all one can hope for. I have my, actually this is my boyfriend's, Ficus Audrey, my Hoya Wayeti, is it Wayeti or Wayeti I? I don't know, but that is that. Um, more Raphidophora cuttings here, more Raphidophora cutting there, an air plant, my Dyphenbachia Tiki, and then over here I have my Hoya Pubicalyx which I really love. It's also put out a lot of new growth. The new leaves are so dark, it's so cool. And then, I don't know what this is. And I have my wandering dude chilling here, getting pretty long. I don't know why it's just like chilling in that part of the desk, but yeah. <laughs> and then over here on a very messy shelf is my uh, Thanksgiving cactus which I love so much and I've had for years now and it was just blooming but it doesn't have any blooms left. I did post them on my Instagram though so you can go check it out there. And then I think this is the last one. This is my Dracaena kind of sad looking Dracaena down here. I need to go and trim some of the leaves off but yeah that guy is just just chilling in that spot. That's where the add-in sodium used to be but I thought it was too dark okay that took a hot minute 
Okay, so I think that that is all of them. Thank you guys so much for watching. Please don't forget to like this video if you liked it and subscribe to my channel. Also leave me a comment down below because I love chatting plants. So yeah, let me know what you think. Tell me about your plants. Ask, ask me any questions, whatever. All right, thank you guys so much for watching. Bye.